This is Wendy Daniels with Revolutionary PE, and this is Basketball Skills and Games. For our warm-up, we give every color team their own color basketball, and then we ask them to go back to their special spot and stand up and start their drills. So they start around the world or candy cane, where they go around their head, around their middle, around their legs. And they would do that 10 times. Then we would ask them to do figure eight, where they go around their knee, figure eight. Go to the ball. Stop. And then we have another drill that we do with the fourth and fifth graders where they hold the ball and then they try to catch it, let go, catch it, let go, yes. So they try to let go and catch it. So let go, catch it, good. So let go, catch it, good. And we practice that, great job. Do is red faces blue and one partner puts back their ball. So if you just set it down for now, thank you. And then we're gonna work on passing. So they step apart and we're going to work on bounce pass. And you'll notice that they push from their chest, thumbs down, and they can even step towards their opponent and step towards your opponent to catch it. If someone doesn't have a partner, if you'd put your ball down, we could pair them up and make a triangle. So if you have an odd number, they could pass back. And then if you would stop, and we're going to work on chest pass. So if you would work on, now it's not gonna bounce, and we're not throwing it over their head. We are not trying to aim at their face. We're trying to pass it like we're in a game. We wanna pass it to our teammate. Ready? Chest pass. And we count our passes to try to see who can count, um, pass it and make enough catches that they have the highest score. I like how you're not tossing it under, king of the court so we start at the beginning of the court and everybody starts dribbling and the goal is to knock away someone else's ball as the court gets smaller move west the red lines close try to knock away someone's ball the black lines close we have a small group we have to get really small the red lines close if they knock away someone else's ball, they have to go on the sideline and practice their dribbling. Inside the key, you have to be inside the key. And now when we just get to the last three people, you could say top of the key. You have to stay inside this top of the key. Can you move this way to the top of the key? Oh, so it's down to two. Down to two. There you go. Dribble, let's get a winner. Oh, our winner. And then we shake hands to say good job, good sportsmanship. When you're dribbling, we always um, remind them not to dribble up here and that we don't slap the ball and lean over, that we bend our knees and we put our hand out to defend and we move our body. We don't want it, we have a little pocket here between our back foot and our front foot because if we're like this dribbling, it hits my toe and the ball rolls. So what the drill is, is you're going to dribble past the cone as if it was a person, a defense on the defensive team. So you want to kind of put your back to them. So when you're dribbling to the cone, your back is to them. So they dribble through the cones, and then after they dribble through the cones, they come back and pass the ball, as you'll see in the next clip. So when you're dribbling, you're maybe switching hands and putting your back to the person.
in shooting, we remember beef that came down to us from another parent that was actually a professional basketball player with Ukraine. And that means balance, so your feet are balanced and your elbow is in, not out. And then our eyes are looking at the goal. When you hold the ball, you wanna have this little space and we wanna bend our knees. Remember, power comes from our legs and the F is for follow through. Okay, so we review that with them for their shooting and we have them stand and practice that. And now this time they're going to dribble through the cone, still pretending it's a defensive player. And then they're going to the basket to shoot. And then they come back and they pass the ball, chest pass this time to the next person. So we're pushing it from our chest and then the next person goes, all right. These are our basketball personal best stations and you can get the signs from revolutionarype.com and it is described in the book as a personal best stations. So first of all, this first station is about the overhead pass. So uh, what we do is we would line up our kids with their color group behind their cone and the first person would go out to one dot and the second person has the ball, and then they would throw in the ball, overhead pass, and my hands are ready. And then I would dribble up, and then either give it to the next person in line, or we have a portable basketball goal. So then I could go and shoot at the portable basketball goal, and then hand it to the next person in line. So it's up to you if um, we just had a younger group doing this, so we didn't add that to this station. Then they rotate to the next station. At the next station, we have passing. So they we stand on a dot and you face your partner. And then we're working on chest pass and bounce pass. So we're counting, whoa, that's slick. And uh, we are talking about catching and passing, making sure your opponent is ready, and then switching to a bounce pass and counting how many. And then they could leave the ball on their dot or they could put it back in a basket. At the next station, we have knockout. At knockout, you have two players that are facing and it helps to have two different color basketballs. The first player can dribble up and try to shoot, and the next partner starts shooting, and if they make a basket before me, I would be out. If I make it, I'm safe, and I would give it to the next person in line. But Jenny was behind me, so if she made the ball before me, I would pass it to the next person, and I would be out, so I could stand under the basket and be the person that helped rebound the ball. At our next station, this is the polydot shootout. So you spread out about 20 different polydots and with the, uh, you can give a second option as a lower basket if you'd like, especially if you're doing this with kids younger than uh, second grade. But second grade to fifth grade, we use the regular basket and you stand on a dot, and if you're able to make the shot, then, I don't know which one I was standing on, you grab the dot and you set it on the sidelines, and you keep shooting and try to get as many dots as possible. So this could be played as a team where our whole color team is playing this station, so we're trying to uh, clear all of the dots or if you wanted to play it as an individual where we're playing against each other, you could put six different color cones and then I would put my dots by my color cone and Jenny would put them by her color cone 
and we would see who got the most points individually. So that's up to you. And then we put them back in the basket. We have students line up at the cone and we rotate them to the next station. At our next station is called pass dribble shoot. So we have two lines. And first of all, with the younger kids, um, you pass the ball. That person dribbles up and shoots. Oh, and rebound, I don't get a second chance, or you can give them a second shot if you want. When we go back in line, we would switch sides. And now um, Ginny gives me the ball to start, and I pass to her. She goes up and shoots. Now, when we get to older students, what could happen is you could make a defensive player here. So when I pass her the ball to start, now I'm defense, and I have to, she has to shoot around me, and I could get the rebound. All right. At this next station, it's a miniature version of King of the Court, so it's called Dribble King. And if you have a small group, everyone could play and have a ball but they have to stay inside this coned area. If you're worried about too many balls bouncing through the gym, you could have two people go at a time. With the littler kids, we dribble and try to knock away the ball, and then I'm the king, so the next two players would go. With the older kids, it could be that I play the next person in line. So because I won, I get to stay out here and I play the next person until someone beats me and then I have to leave and give the ball to the next person. But it is fun to have everyone playing at the same time if you have six or less. But if you have more than six, it's really better maybe just to go to two people playing at a time just because of the ball interfering with other stations. And then those are our six stations, so then I would rotate back to one if I had not gone to that station yet. This is Omnic and Basketball. Usually we have six players. Uh, you have a mat at one end and one player on the mat. Person on the mat is the hoop, so this is the red team's hoop. And over here on this side is the blue team's hoop. The dribble pass and then shoot into the basket. If they make the basket and the hoop person can help them, but they can't fall off their mat. They have to stay on their mat at all times or the basket doesn't count. So we start by tossing the ball. So I will toss the ball and you need to have two people that are going to be the jump ball. So can the two of you be the jump ball or you can catch it and then you get it to your team. So your team wants to be kind of opposite the other person. Can you be opposite? Yeah, see, because if she, if Blue hits it, you want to get it, and then pat, dribble, and then pass it to her. You have to pass before you can score. To you, ready? Woo! Uh-oh. Okay, it's out of bounds, so Blue's ball. Their, their lane is between the color squares. They have to stay in that straight lane. Even though right now the gym is empty, we would have six different games going on, so they have to stay in their lane. So the person out of bound blue tosses it in overhead pass to their partner who has to dribble, and we want defense, defense, and they shoot. All right, red's ball. Red gets the ball, please dribble, and you pass towards your goal. Please stay in your lane and go towards your basket. Okay, now you have to switch places. So now, Bert, you are holding the overhead pass to Louise. Ready? Pass it in. Get the ball. Dribble. You got to dribble. Good. Defense. All right. Red steals the ball. Try to stay in your lane, guys. Oh, good. Dribble. Throw it in. You gotta pass before you can shoot. You can't shoot. You have to throw it in first. So you have to be outside the black line. 
and then he has to shoot. Dribble, or he can pass to you to shoot. And then they score. Now they switch. Harlan goes on the mat and holds the hoop. Red's ball. Right there, please throw it in. Throw in the ball. Good. And dribble towards your hoop. And, oh, steals it. Yeah, dribble down. You can pass. I like how you're not making body contact. Okay, try to stay in your lane. Oh, nice block. All right. <laughs> Throw it in. Get him. <laughs> we play three on three. And then if there is more people on the team, which there are, there's usually six to eight, that means they would rotate in after someone scored. So in this case, you have a player at the top of the key that has to pass to one of the two players on the side. So blue cannot steal the ball when she is passing to those people. You cannot make body contact you can only guard and try to restrict their movement to scoring. If blue gets possession, they have to take it all the way to the top of the key, and then they have to pass to one person before. So I will say whose possession it is after each one, each round. So ready, red, pass the ball. So who's open? Dribble, try to get to the basket. Get to the basket or score, rebound. So, so blue would take it up top. And you're gonna pass and now you can guard. They're trying to get to the basket so he could pass towards the basket. Red has the ball. Red has to pass and then they shoot. Good rebound, blue takes it to the top. Top of the key, good has to pass before they start and shoot. Good, blue scores, red's ball, take it up top. Good, pass the ball. Dribble in, dribble or shoot, you can shoot. Dribble to the basket and shoot. Good, oh, so close, good rebound. Blue's ball, take it to the top. All right, so if I was there, and I was red team and waiting, who just scored? So then I would rotate in, and Bert would rotate out, and then you would have your new player. So we would have uh, six games going at each basket. If you have some portable baskets, you could use those at another location. For a full year of lesson plans and games like this, get lesson plans for elementary PE on Amazon now.